beautiful gangsters and welcome back to another 8up chat video where today we're going to talk about something that I think is really awesome and close, near there close to my heart I think it's going to be one of the best damn movies ever created and if you haven't figured it out by now it's going to be Capcom is finally going to be making a CG movie about the about, the, about Resident Evil movie about Resident Evil in, in the mansion and hopefully it's not a prank I've read multiple, multiple articles on legit New sources, so this is not a, this is not a prank, bro. It's not a prank. So, and it's, if it's let's say, hopefully it is true. Hopefully it's legitly true. But yeah, it's and, but a CG movie about the mansion, about where the game started. And if you think about it, it's really where the game where the game uh, developed its horror, its scariness. If you ask me, the helplessness of being stranded in a mansion with no nothing to do, with no no help coming. And show my zombies. And if you haven't seen the first CG movie, you had to watch. Um, actually, there's one, one of the first, one of the two. You had to watch. Um, see the was it Resident Evil Degeneration? That's really good. One. Leon Kennedy, I think Claire Redfield's in it. It's really good. I, I recommend that one completely. You also have the. You have another one with Leon Kennedy in it, where he's captured in Africa or something like that. But yeah, it's awesome. And if you go off of the, let's say, I found it on the Smosh website, and it looks really, really good. I mean, I can't wait for it. Like I said, it's just Resident Evil has been is my is the the best the best horror game to me ever. I do like Silent Hill. That's good. I do like. Really, I've only played Silent Hill and Resident Evil. I know I've done on Crisis stuff like that, but, but yeah, Resident Evil is finally making the movie about the mansion. Long overdue. This is the movie everyone wanted to hear hear about and see, I think. But yeah, so it's just I'm just pumped for Resident Evil. Also, I'm still questioning the game, the new game, Resident Evil Seven, if it's gonna be really good or not. As you can tell on screen, I'm actually having a gameplay of that the demo up running while I'm doing talking about the new movie. But I don't know, like I said, it's just the movie's gonna be bad ass. I recommend anyone going to see it whenever whenever they do sell it. Actually, I mean, I think it's going to be awesome. Um, so re re reading the uh, the sponsor article here it's called Resident Evil Vendetta, or sorry, in Japan it's called Bio Biohazard Vendetta. So yeah, that's going to be freaking awesome. And the cover actually has, I believe, Chris Redfield on the front holding a machine gun. It's either Chris or Barry. I believe it's going to be Chris. And it, it looks, it sounds awesome. Now, as far as the the next Resident Evil movie that's not CG, the actual one in the, the ongoing series, where they're in the White House and defeating the Red Queen, that's probably, that one's probably going to suck. And I said that because, well, I think making Wesker a good guy is going to ruin the movie. Just to my theory on things, I could be wrong, but just what well, I think. And if I've seen that movie, I, th I thought it sucked. But I, I still watch it. It's, it's good enough to watch, but it's definitely not not my taste. It's it wasn't that good of an ending to me. They looked it too screwed up in my opinion. But so yeah, so like I said that's the um, it's gonna be awesome. Like I said, I don't know. So I was reading the article here. I'm gonna actually go over here, put the tape in here. I'm kind of doing this live commentary thing at the same time, so. If I seem a little bit distracted here, I'm trying to do two at once here. Uh, let's see here. Of course, the mansion matters. Mansion is a big part of the game. I could, I, without the mansion, there would have been no initial threat of zombies. Uh, the mansion is, is the iconic Resident Evil location. The fact that it hasn't really appeared in one of, in one of the millions of Resident Evil movies is a goddamn shame. And I'll, link, I'll, I'll put a link down below to the Smosh article in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Uh, I like one of them said, um, yeah, if you remember, I actually remember the first Resident Evil movie they made with Mel, uh, I, I don't know her name, I, I'm not gonna butcher it, but you know who I'm talking about, <clears throat> but yeah, she was in a mansion briefly, very briefly, so that could be in the mansion they're referring to, I still want to see a mansion movie, actually not CG, but... Who knows? They, they they go they always they always make the, the last one the last actual Resident Evil movie like uh, Code Veronica actually had multiple parts of the game, all, all the games and not one game. 
Like you had the dimension, the ice parts. They have a lot of different parts in that movie. That, that game, I should say. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's gonna be it's gonna be called Vendetta. Vendetta will feature Chris will feature Chris Redfield doing things in Dimension as well as well. That's about all we know. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm, I'm not sure they got they got it from TGS that had it in Japan uh, probably last week I think it was. So, but yeah, like I said, uh, reading this article here as I as I play along here. Of course, the reason Mansion matters in Resident Evil is is they created a sense of perilous, perilousness or uselessness, whatever, how you want to call it. For us players, we were trapped in that abominable place, and that feeling is vulnerable of vulnerability carried over into gameplay, and it did. Imagine running out of bullets, or magnum, yeah, bullets, or grenade launcher rounds, or having no knife or no first aid spray if you needed it. Uh, feeling vulnerable carried over into gameplay with so little health and ammo, like I just said. We didn't know if he survived whatever was hiding around in the next corner. And if you played the remaster, I used to just play the remaster too. The remaster makes the first game look like chump change, if you ask me. They upped the difficulty with crimson heads. I think. This is my personal opinion, opinion on that. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, do me a favor, like your video down below and comment, comment something good, bad, whatever you, or just whatever you thought about the video. Uh, if you're, are, are, are you hyped for this new movie they're, they're going to be making CG? You think it's going to be stupid? Do you think you're going you're to enjoy it? Or should, they, or should they stick to making a, a live a regular movie for Resident Evil? So in my opinion, I think the, the last one sucked. So I'm hoping they they come back from that. But anyways, like I said, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes, I hid my eyes. Don't you judge me. And then be safe and coach through until 6 a.m. Oh no, I'm about to die.